everybody Jules here from Jules Designs at JT Creation so welcome to my channel so what we're doing today is we're, we're going to make some um, label clusters uh, I've done some labels they will be going on my coffee as a freebie these are the the red ones um, I've printed some so they're all the same but the backgrounds either red green blue or plain these are just printed off on paper so that's the green that's the plain and that's the red the red are printed out on on cream card i've also got some uh different labels printed out on just craft card i've also got some homemade number stamps um i have a little set of numbers die cuts and I cut them out out of the form sheets I did a, a previous video um, about making your stamps out of form sheets and you just stick them on cardboard and they work quite well as you can see and this one is on the the curious case of crafty hall um, file folder that I made and you can see and I've got like a four wax seal on there and this one I did like a um, like a tag and I think I quite like those so I think I'm going to stick with the tag shape and how I get that is I've just got some that the labels didn't print out that great so what I do is I use my um, board envelope to make envelopes because it's got a what I call a divot punch. <laughs> so this is one and a half inches. So half of one and a half inches is three quarters of an inch. Now I haven't got it only goes up to one inch, so I'm guessing this. Um, I'm just going to straighten this off because I've done that to one inch. So, no, I haven't. Not quite. So, I'll tell you what it measures. It measures an inch and a quarter. So, I'm putting it in there. That That's the middle, roughly. And I think that's right. Press it down and there we are. So I'll do a different one. Um, so I'm just guessing the middle won't be a perfect tab, but be just as good. And it's, it's one way of using up, you know, your bits of card when you're cutting things out. It's a, it's ideal for that. Yeah, so, let's... so we'll do these. If we get these done, that's great. And I'm just going to get my seat. So if you don't have one of those envelope boards, the easiest way to do it is find the middle. I guess the middle. Actually, I'll do it in centimetres. It's four and a half, so it's two and a quarter. So that's roughly the middle there. So what I would normally do is cut from corner the top part of that point and I've done this before I've done um, tags and things like that this way and there we are so we'll do this one first because this is the one I did and we'll use ground espresso I think and all I'm doing is just rolling that in and just rolling it over like that just to give it a bit of background and that'll do nicely 
Um, I've got a, now I don't know where I got these from. I've had them absolutely years. It's a, a tag stamp. Um, and I'm going to use scorch timber. I'm just doing the bottom of it. Because this is going to get covered up with labels anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to go a bit like that. And that's that covered up. What we need to do now is we need to put the... I'll take my foam stamps out the way. And I think we'll have a nice round one. So I've got some nice... I mean, if you're going to put it on your page that way or dangle it or whatever, it really doesn't matter. So I'm just placing that there. I'm going to have a little bit of book page here. I'm just ripping that. And... Have a bit of this. Yeah, so I'm going to put the boot page down first. I'm just using art glitter glue, you can use any PVA glue. there well that's going to go over there it's going to stick off um a bit so i'm leaving a space where it's gonna hang off the edge of the and we'll put that up there i'm going to uncrown this one And as I say, these labels will be available on my coffee site. And are we going to uncrown this one? I think we'll have that one hanging off there. And this is a good way of using your little scraps up as well, because I've got a little circle punch here. And I think we'll put number three on. No, we won't. We'll num number five. I've not used number five. And then just dip it in the pad. So dip it in the ink. This is where I get. You can use thicker card than this. Um, that's better. <laughs> so it didn't go to waste. It's just got... <laughs> Silly me. Just don't put the glue on the wrong way. And we'll have that one that way. So it's going to go upside down anyway. And we'll have a date. This is February 1905. Yeah, I want it that way. Enough. That over there, should we have a stamp on it or should we have another? What I'll do is I'll use one of these four. Um, 
wax seals and I'm just gluing it in the middle because I'll probably put something underneath and this has got a crow on it and I'm putting it that way and what else do we want we've got an airmail stamp an airmail ticket here and some of these are printed in red ink um and some of them are in in black and blue put that there and another blue one and the other one I think we'll finish off with that one. And we'll have that one hanging off, I think. And that's a, a postage. Um, Postal stamp, not postage stamp. And there we are. And what I am going to do is I'm going to. I can't do that one. Um, but what I can do is I can cut around it. And I've done these before, and there's a lot of people done them. Uh, Pink Monarch. Um, Roxy Creations, I think Artie Mays has done them. Um, we all do them a little bit different. We all put our own spin on it. On a pocket, um, I'm saying up like that, or on a pocket. Never, I've had these for years and I've never used them. I think I got them in my card making days, so that's many moons ago. And I haven't got it on an acrylic block, I'm just putting it on. And this is a silicon mat under here, so it doesn't um, destroy my desk. And again, I'm going to do the corners first and then we'll encrowned. And I'm going to encrowned with ground espresso. going to do with this one now should we put a, a larger looking at the there's all different sizes um this one I'm just going around the corners it's taking a bit of the text off but I don't care and so I'm going to have that one there just have to check that I was gluing the right side <laughs> Oh dearie me, always doing something wrong. There isn't a day when I don't do something wrong. And just Did 
these bits. So this will need to go on the top somewhere. So so I think what I might do is I might put it there, but I'll not stick it on yet. A little rabbit, I think. Yep, we'll put it the way I was going to. It's going to be half covered. Unless I put him no. So we'll put him up there like that. We can always trim any little bits off that hang over the edge, that's fine, apart from the ones that I want hanging over the edge. I'm going to ink this one up and have a look and see what it's like. And then we've got so we've got the number twenty there. Um, no, I don't want another number. Um, And again, I'm just using um, art glitter glue and I'm going to put that there and hopefully that will stick. We'll use the little and I think that's the this the dark steel. And just let me see where my so that I wouldn't lose them because I'm always losing them. So and when I do the shrink plastic, I always put a hole in it first, so. And there we are. So there's another one. So we'll do this one. Put that there and What I want is I want something across there. A bit, a bit much. So we'll have a bit of and we'll put that under there. I'm just doing it to see what I like first, and then we can have a number stamp. We'd have the number eight. And I think we'll just have it in scorch timber in the middle. <laughs> and I'll do it ground espresso. See if we can get this one any better. That's better. If you look when you if you look at the bottom, you know, if you look at sort of like when you're putting the stamp down. You can see uh, 
um, I'm going to ink around this as well and I'm going to put some ground espresso on my do another one of these and I'm going to round the corners off you're going to have this hanging over the edge so we'll have that hanging off there now I want a label on that that's going to hold it down as well so what have we got do not discard it's the same same colour but we could have a bit of this a bit of that and do we want the big red airmail no I don't want that one um Decisions, decisions. I've got another. No, I'm going to use labels. Um, that's what I've set out to use. I've got some little tiny ones. I have a little numbered one. And we'll have the hand that says return to sender. I'll put that on there as well. Right, so first of all, I'm going to stick this down. And again, I'm only putting part of it on there. In fact, I'm going to do it this way. And then we'll put that on there. Just we'll ink this. We'll have approved the. Like that, we'll have this dark one there, or we might have a postage. Um, let me see. There's a smaller one. There's a number twenty. No, I think I'll go for the smaller. So we'll have that there. We'll have the hand under there. Yep, put my hand upside down. And we'll have 
February 1905 down there and then I want one of these oh. that will go there and we'll have that one there I think still haven't used this right I'm gonna stick that on there and then we'll go I don't want them all coming out I like to see a little bit of variety and I'll have that one on there and that's good And again, we'll try a silver one this time. Don't think it matters what colour they are. And I've got, I don't know where I got this stamp from. It was a gift. Um, I haven't got a Scooby Doodle and I think I'll do this in aged mahogany and okay And I'm just, I'll do this end. Then we'll do that, that, and that. And it looks fine. Okay. So you don't have to stick with your, your, you know, your browns and everything. You can do different colours. It doesn't matter. And I think what we will do is we will put a photograph on this one. But we'll have her hanging off. Um, just want a small one. That probably is better. Yep, and that one. And I'm just going to use the rest of the ink up on that. Because I just want to use it like a, a frame. So I'm just sticking it part on this so I can cut it and then we can work around because we're working from front to back kind of. And again, and I've not cut a straight line and I don't care. So that 
will go there but what I want to do is I want to break that up with that and have the round one right up the right way Julie That number one there and we'll have that one there we'll have some greys and things and then we've got a red what I want to use is I want to use some of this Right, so I'm going to stick this on first, that there, I have that underneath, I'm, I am going to encram this, and we'll have that there um That one up there. Now we want a bit of that sticking out, so I'm uh, red's not going to show around this, but never mind. to have another number um, and I'm going to do it in the red and then can have the number four let me think that first hmm. that is the right way yeah <laughs> And we'll have that there like I think we'll pull that down a bit because I think we'll have a button. I think we'll have a tiny little button. Just to cover that and there we are and I think we'll call that a day but what I'll do is I'll put the grommet in I've got an antique brass in this one. And I'm just going to put my stamps on there. Give me a couple of seconds while I clear up all these labels away.
ones were at least picked up. Okay, so here we have our little cluster tags, tickets or whatever. So that one's got a dangly bit on it. Um, and that was the one I did off camera so as I say these tickets there will be um, two of them as freebies so that you can cut them out you can do two to a page and make them even smaller um, they actually come out that size so they are a little bit bigger that was just a bit too small but you can if you know what you do when you can size them smaller if you want so it'll probably be the red and the the the, the natural colour that will be free and the others will be at a, a small price. So hope you get something out of this and I will see you in the next video. Bye.